Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. Just in case you didn't know, now you do know. And today we're going to go through my spring summer wish list. And if you can hear that noise, that's my dog. Chewing on a chew across the room. So she's here as always. <laughs> So if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I don't buy a ton of new clothes every year. I mean, I've had this shirt probably like five years now, but I do like to look at the new things that are out and see if there's any new things I would like to try or maybe clothes that'll help me get out of my comfort zone, try a new style, but I don't consume trends in the same way that a lot of people do mostly because those trends aren't always available for people my size on the bigger end of plus size right so it takes a while for that stuff to get to me but this list is just a uh, something to keep in mind as I'm looking at stuff, if I see something go on sale, or if I see something on the secondhand market, or if I have the money and I want to spend it on something nice and new, then I will. And um, so without further ado, and in no particular order, here is my wish list for spring and summer. So for a couple years now, um, tennis skirts and skorts have been um, on the rise. I know Pennington's had a really cute one last year. Um, I never really saw it in store in my size and actually don't think it came in a 6X. So I never bothered like trying to get it and try it out. But Alder Apparel um, has released a really cute tennis skirt um, this year. And I'm going to put pictures of everything on the screen. Uh, so you can see I just like the little like pleated details then also it has pockets it comes in a great color and it comes in my size also Alder Apparel is a Canadian company um, they have recently done collaborations with Roots and um, they are sort of like an outdoor company so um, they have things like you can wear hiking stuff like that and I just love that they're size inclusive uh, and that was not something that was available like when I was a teenager being extra nerdy and being in girl guides until I was 17 I was in Pathfinders junior leaders like I went to Switzerland when I was a 13 on a girl guide world center trip like I went to Artele in Switzerland and like I had to buy hiking pants but they were too small and they were so too small that they ripped up the inside of my thighs from the friction because they were too tight and so like I just love that it's an available option to get hiking pants now that will fit me and not rip my inner thighs up, you know? Anyways, before we go on to number two, I want to thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Anna Luisa is a jewelry company. They make beautiful pieces that are meant to be worn every day. You can wear them in the shower. It does not matter. Uh, they have a two-year warranty on them and their pieces start at like $39, which is amazing because they're affordable but good quality. And there is nothing worse than spending your money on something that is not a good quality item and doesn't last for years. So I want to show you a couple of pieces that were sent to me by Anna Luisa. First up are the earrings I'm currently wearing. I will pop one out for you. These, these are the Paris Huggies. They basically look like a croissant, which I think is adorable that they called them the Paris Huggies. Um, I love that little play. I'm not sure it was intentional. They come in gold and silver and 
I picked the silver ones actually because I find in spring summer I like adding a little silver to my jewelry mix and match the metals a bit the next piece I picked out I'm actually going to be giving to my mom for her birthday which is the end of April so gotta keep a secret until then please don't tell her okay but it's this very delicate little bracelet it has a little bar of stones down it which is very hard to show you and it has like a toggle to adjust i think like she won't wear this every day which is perfectly fine my mom is not a huge jewelry jewelry wearer she wears the necklace i gave her quite a bit but this will be nice if she wants to go out and do something and wants to look extra cute she can put it on and this little toggle means that you can adjust it to fit most wrist sizes which i love um, but this one is called the Evelyn and uh, that is sentimental significant for her because that was my grandmother's name her mom's name and it's also my middle name so I thought uh, to be honest she would love it and the final piece that I want to show you is this necklace this is like a ball chain I think is what it's called it is just a cute short little necklace it is 16 inches without the built-in extender and then um, this is about two inches I for my chunky neck will add in one of their extenders as well so that it sits exactly where it's supposed to there we go that's where it's supposed to sit an added benefit while they do make this chain in a bracelet size as well you can just put this on as a bracelet if you want to if you're interested in any of the pieces i've mentioned here uh, be sure to check out the link in my description it'll take you right to the Anna Louisa website as well I will list a full list of all of the pieces that I have and have had over the years you can just copy them and paste them into their search on the website and it if it's still available it will pull it up for you so that you can check them out as well number two on my list is the Eli trousers from Connolly goods I don't know actually if I'll be able to get these because um Connolly runs on sort of like a they make a batch you can do pre-orders and um once the pre-orders are out they will um sell what they have otherwise and once it's gone you may not be able to get it again they may not do another production run so i may not be able to get these but they are on my wish list i love the style with the same company uh connelly goods i really want their roscoe bomber it's a fully denim uh, bomber jacket uh and obviously there will be a photo uh but it just it looks so good and it looks so comfortable to wear and I don't know it just it looks so cool and I really want it my friend Kirsten recently made a brass bow hairpin and I know bows are kind of like a trendy thing right now but I have loved bows since like the 2000s okay like the early 2000s i put bows on everything i want bows on things i know they're like sometimes seen as childish i do not care she made this beautiful hairpin and then i went and got my hair chopped off so i'm not sure if it'll actually work in my hair um i've seen people like wear it on their bun but another thing i saw someone do is wear it as like a sweater pin as well so you just sort of like poke the the pin part through the sweater and it looked so good and so cute and I would really like to get one um that'll probably be my next purchase is to get one of the hairpins all right next on my list is the Carol high rise jeans from Universal Standard I would like these in tall and I would like them in all the washes that are available. All of my jeans, or my favorite pair of jeans, I can tell is not going to make it to next year. I can almost see through the thighs. Okay, so it is time to start preparing 
for the inevitable wearing out of the inner thighs of my jeans. I've had these jeans well over five years so the fact that they've lasted this long and I wear them two or three times a week is pretty good I would say but I've had not a lot of luck in finding jeans that I love lately and I already have a pair of universal standard jeans that I like. They're in like a boot cut but the Carol ones are a wide leg and I think that is what fits me best in terms of comfort level and um I would really like to try them. They I'm going to try and get my hands on a pair this year and hopefully they work out. I know Universal Standard does a lot of sales and they do have like a denim sale like once a year so I'm gonna watch out for that and see if I can get a pair. I know Universal Standard is like quite pricey and is not an available option for a lot of people but I love that they have such a wide size range and that they also accommodate petite and tall and they have like so they have different inseam lengths but they go up to a size 40 and if you want to be able to get an oversized fit as a 6x person that's nearly impossible because most stores don't make sizes bigger than your size and so if I want an oversized fit of something I know that I can get at a universal standard and all of the pieces I have from them that I've bought over the years including my winter coat which is still going strong I have a black pair of jeans from them I have a sweater from them um I have a dress they're all still so good and in great condition. I've had no trouble with the quality. Oh, I have a t-shirt too. Um, it's all amazing quality and I love wearing the items. I have spent the last five summers wearing sneakers, exclusively sneakers. And this year is the year that I am rectifying it. And I'm getting myself a pair of sandals. I used to wear sandals a lot. Um, when I could find ones that had a bit more like over the top of my foot, my feet swell with my lymphedema and so like I have to make accommodations for my body, right? Um, but this year I want some chunky sandals. I found a pair on Torrid that I really like. Um, I've never had luck getting the sizing right of what I need at Torrid but I'm going to try it and see if I can get a pair of chunky san sandals from them. They... I just how, like how they look. I like that they're like one level, not, um, they don't get higher at the heel, so they're not like a wedge. I just want a cute pair of sandals that I can actually wear and not worrying about my feet swelling in funny places and yeah. Okay, so the next thing on my list is from Ray. It's spelled W-R-A-Y. And they just released this dress. And I think it's more the color that I'm interested in than anything. I think it's called Apple Acid or Acid Apple. Um, it is bright, bright green. Like, I obviously there's going to be a picture on the screen. But it is like a tiered dress. It's a little longer than any of the ones I have. But doesn't go all the way to the floor. So it's not a tripping hazard for me. Um, I love the color. I love that it has sleeves. And that it's tiered. I just. I love it. I don't think I'll ever own it. But I will continue lusting after it via Instagram. And the second Ray item on my list is their new collared shirts. I would love to own a collared shirt, except I don't like things touching my neck too tightly. Like the button up ones, and I don't like, it makes my neck hot, okay? When it's like there's too much near my neck. Um, and they just came out with the cutest collared shirts that have sort of a like vintagey feel. So it's got a low opening to about here, I think. Buttons down the front, obviously. Has a cute little collar. And it comes in patterns or plain. And it doesn't have a cuffed, like button cuff sleeve. It is like a puffy sleeve. Not too puffy, but puffy enough. 
and I'm not gonna lie it's like my ideal version of a collared shirt you can still layer it under stuff it just looks cute and I want it desperately I want it and I think if I'm gonna be making any big purchases besides the jeans off this list it'll be this collared shirt um I really really hope I can get my hands on one I don't know what color I'd buy it in usually just buy shirts in like colors or black because I drop a lot of stuff on my shirts and I don't want to deal with the stains um and getting them out and I would cry actual tears if I got anything on a white button-up shirt that I just spent good money on um so I'm not sure but it comes in patterns and stuff too so uh yeah anyways that's I just I want it desperately. All right, so that's everything on my wish list for today, for spring, summer, any time of the year. Uh, thank you again to Anna Louisa for sponsoring. Don't forget to check out the link in the description uh, if you want to see what Anna Louisa has to offer. And if you have any things that are on your ultimate bucket list of clothing items to own, put them in the description because I'd love to hear what everybody else is lusting after um, because I can't be alone in having bucket list items that I want to own and wear in my life. Um, thanks again and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you want, and have a great day. Bye!